Time for another cocktail. January 17th, National Hot Buttered Rum Day. Never had a hot buttered rum, but I'm anxious to try it. There's so many different variations on this recipe, just like with most cocktails. Um, so we found a couple that were similar, and we tried to take the best out of those recipes and combine them and make it into one cocktail that I think we're going to really like. There's some prep that goes into making this recipe, which is what we're going to do now. Um, you make this batter that you put in the freezer and then later on you just scoop it out and put it in your glass and then you add the rum and the hot water and there's your hot buttered rum. Sounds really interesting so that's what we're going to do now is prep our stuff then we're going to put it in the freezer we're going to go to work and then when we come back tonight we're going to try this cocktail. Alrighty let's get started on what we need for the batter. Okay today we need a stick of butter, a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of powdered sugar, three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and we need a cup of softened vanilla ice cream. All right, so what you do first, take your stick of butter, put it in your saucepan and start melting that down. Then we're gonna add our brown sugar and our powdered sugar. Okay, we're gonna melt this and incorporate it all together. All right, see, we got a nice melty consistency here. It's almost like a it looks almost like a caramel. Okay, so we just want to make sure everything is mixed well and butter's all melted down. Sugar's all mixed in with the butter. You don't want to burn it though. So whisk, 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 and then once you see it's all done, shut the heat off. Once you shut your heat off, now you're going to mix in your cinnamon and nutmeg. Remember, you're off the heat now, okay? Mix in your cinnamon and nutmeg, and then you're gonna take your cup of vanilla, softened vanilla ice cream, if I could ever get it out of this cup. I guess it's not soft enough, but it will be in a minute, once it hits the heat. There you go. Okay, take your softened vanilla ice cream, put that right in there, and mix it all together. It's gonna melt down anyway, once it hits this hot sugar mixture. Okay, so we just want to blend this all together. There's our base for our hot buttered rum. So now what you're, we're going to do is we're going to put this in a container and then we're going to put it in the freezer. It'll freeze and harden up. Hey everybody. Okay, so I'm home from work and our mix should be ready. I just took it out of the freezer. So, I'll check it out here. I mean, it looks pretty good. The only thing is, it's not frozen. It's kind of like a syrup. So, we're going to make do anyway. About a tablespoon of this stuff. I don't know. Put that in our glass. And uh, we'll add our two ounces of Captain Morgan. Okay. We'll kind of stir that up a bit. And then, using our Keurig again, like we did with the hot toddy. We're going to brew our hot water right into there. That's what the recipe calls for. We'll stir it up and we'll see. And we'll taste test it and we'll see what it's all about. It's very similar to the hot toddy we did last week, but this mixture seems to have a lot more flavor to it. It's very cinnamony and with the nutmeg and the cinnamon and the vanilla ice cream in it and the butter. Should be really good. So let's mix it up. We'll try it. See what we think. All right. So there's our hot buttered rum. Let's give it a taste and see. It smells really good. It smells kind of eggnoggy. Not bad. Definitely taste the cinnamon and the nutmeg and everything. I don't know. I actually think I like the hot toddy better. And that's whiskey. This isn't bad though. I think what would make it better though is if it wasn't 
if you didn't wa use hot water, if you use like maybe hot milk, because then it would make more of a creamier drink. And it would, uh, I think it loses something in the, with the hot water. I think it kind of waters down the rum flavor and the, and the flavor of the other spices. Whereas if it was warm or hot milk, I think that would make a much better drink. But it's not bad. I mean, you know, never had one before, so I can't compare it to anything. Alrighty. See you tomorrow.